What's up guys, my name is Joe, and have you ever wondered what is it about that guy's look and style that just makes girls notice? A lot of the times it seems so simple. He's not wearing anything flashy or obvious or, you know, something special almost, so you know, what is it? And that's one of the keys, by the way. Flashy does not mean better or more fashionable. Keeping it low-key with a couple stylish secrets are the moves to make, and that's what I want to talk about in today's video. So guys, stylish secret number one. It doesn't get any more simple than this, and that is an all all black outfit. Girls are a sucker for an all black outfit and there's a few good reasons why. First, it's a classic timeless move. Black shows that you're not trying too hard to look trendy or in while still looking effortlessly cool. Black also helps to make you look a little bit more slender and even make you look taller. So anyone out there who's conscious about their height, black can actually um, help that illusion a little. Black is also, well, darker and darker colors are associated with being more mysterious, more serious and mature. All of these things are quite intriguing traits. And a little side tip, adding some distressing to this black outfit like I've done here can take the look to the next level. Some well-placed distressing helps add a rugged and edgy feel to an already awesome outfit. So full black with some tasteful distressing, that's an absolute winner. Style secret number two has to do with sunglasses. But not just sunglasses in general, I'm talking about the classics. The same way an all black outfit shows off a cool vibe without trying too hard, the same thing can be applied to classic sunglasses. Shows that you know what to look out for when picking the pairs that are tried and true for us guys. Specifically, when we're talking about the top of the top when it comes to classic sunglasses, we've got the Wayfarers, Club Masters, and aviators. Now this isn't the full extent of the classic sunglasses, but these are the most popular. Of course, you've got to take your head shape into consideration when picking any of these. Wayfarers and club masters fits most normal size heads. These are a pretty safe bet for most guys out there. My head, on the other hand, happens to be uh, kind of big, so aviators are a better fit for me, proportionally speaking. That said, as much as I appreciate the look of classic aviators on a lot of dudes, it's never been my personal favorite, so I've settled for square aviators, which I personally like more. I'm keeping the color simple with the gunmetal gray, no flashy colors and out there design quirks. It's just subtle, it's simple, it looks good. Next stylish secret is swapping your sneakers for some boots. Now hey, I love a good pair of casual sneakers. They're comfortable, they're easy to throw on, and you know that you're in a good enough position to uh, you know get out there. The thing is a lot of guys think that boots need to be saved for more special occasions and don't exactly fit with your casual outfits. And that's just not true. If you get the right pair of boots, this is an easy way to up the look of a casual outfit. They can make you look more mature and put together. Definitely something that the ladies like. My personal boot preference preferences for more casual look are military boots slash the combat boot styles, like these black ones I've got from Nordstrom, along with these super nice Tuesday boots from Ankari Flores. I hope I'm saying that right. Also, you can't ever go wrong with a casual pair of Chelsea's either. Casual Chelsea's are such an easy upgrade for nearly every look involving denim jeans. It's just a more mature twist on a casual outfit, and that's something that, again, the ladies appreciate. Fourth up, we've got story pieces. Now, what does that mean? These are accessory pieces of jewelry, whether it's a watch, bracelets, necklace, uh, rings, anything like that, that has some type of sentimental value to you. It can be as simple as, yeah, this was the first ring I got back in high school. It's a reminder of how far I've come since then and just reminds me to keep pushing forward even when times get tough. Not this one, this is my wedding ring. And actually, uh, this doesn't apply to, the, to this situation. I'm a, I'm a married man. But for me, I've been quite late to the necklace game, but I'm sure you guys have seen me wearing these necklaces quite a bit. These are from a brand called Zephyr. I'll leave a link down below because these are great quality necklaces um, for a great price considering the materials that they use. And these are the necklaces that got me into the necklace world, which is why I'm happy to share them with you guys. But I met the owner of this company at the first convention that Bluemont ever sponsored. So these pieces have a little bit of value to me. Like that was a landmark of doing something in person with Bloom on. Having a story piece or two just shows girls that you have a little bit of depth to you. You've got some history. Great conversation starter. Moving on from there, what is the biggest difference between your wardrobe and her wardrobe? Pretty simple. One is a mess and the other is perfectly organized, color coordinated, uh, just be like looks like a shop as soon as you open it up. It's just laid out beautifully. That's her that's hers, by the way. I, you might have a wardrobe like that. Most guys don't. So if you thought that girls don't notice color coordination on an outfit, then um, you're just straight up incorrect. Color matching an outfit goes a long way. And the easiest way to do this Pair your shoes with one other main color that you're wearing. Also, keeping it subtle is the classiest way. I'm not saying that you need to go full on red or bright or whatever, but just throw in a little flavor with that color match and she's gonna think that's spicy. Now let's talk about gym time. Gym time is a part of a lot of us guys' 
routine. I, I am pretty consistent, I gotta say. I know I'm a slender, you know, slender side, but uh, I've been putting some work into the gym. And we all know there's a ton of different options when it comes to gym wear for guys. Some a little bit more subtle and some a little uh, I wanna say. Well, according to a study where they asked a lot of different girls, uh, you know, they showed them a lot of different types of gym wear that guys wear and asked them what their favorite was. The unanimous vote was for a simple, workout-ready, sweat-wicking t-shirt. Something that looks athletic without falling into douche territory like so many other options out there. For your lower half, the uh, most favorite option out there was a good pair of just gym joggers. And of course, that's a great combo, your sweat-wicking uh, t-shirt mixed with the gym joggers. That is simple and all you need and is in fact what's gonna be making you look the best. It still shows that you can be serious about your fitness while keeping it classy. You're able to show off that progress without shoving it in people's faces. And in case you were wondering, you're, you're, you're in the market for some new um, gym joggers. My favorite pair that I've ever bought are from Lululemon. They are the ABC joggers. Fantastic. Uh, they've last, I've had them for about a year now. I can't find them right now. I've lost them for about a week and a half, but I, up until that point, they've been great. They fit well, you can wash them over and over without them falling apart. Um, and yeah, they're, they're just a fantastic pair of joggers. So yes, moral of the story when it comes to these stylish secrets is to just don't try to go over the top when it comes to impressing through your outfits. A lot of the times, girls are gonna appreciate the things on the more subtle side, you know, not these massive brand names, not these, expensive Louis Vuitton shoes that glow in the dark or whatever. Keeping it classy while still having an eye out for how your outfit is gonna look all together. Like the color matching I said, a very easy step to just put your whole outfit together. So that's what I've got for you guys today. Thank you for watching if you enjoyed. Definitely hit the like button, hit the subscribe if you're new in this town and I'll see everybody next time.